All right, I'm gonna make this race on the new McLaren. Keep the camber at about two degrees, and here we go. Let's see how the acceleration starts. Well, definitely a lot of wheel spin, and definitely doing way better than the Mercedes. Um, sorry, BMW. Another BMW out of the way. Just gonna be very cautious towards this turn because we're on cold tires. Let's make sure we do everything right. And I believe that would be, oh dear, another McLaren. As this x bow literally swears to block me. So, let's see what we can do against this x bow I don't like him very much. <laughs> That's what he's done to me. There we go. And uh, let's quickly dispatch this other car as well, which I think is a Lotus. Let's not suffer oversteer. Don't want that to happen. Alright, there we go. Not in a bad position. Third place from starting ninth, so that's an interesting result. And the first gear is actually usable, which is nice. Now, it's kind of unfortunate that I have traction control on because um, it's probably catching me way too early. Regardless, let's make sure we only punch out. First gear to have a great acceleration. There we go. Tau. The car is somewhat heavy, I would say. <clears throat> Getting that uh, weight transfer towards the front to help us turn, that worked very well. But here we just got to control our speed. I braked perhaps a little early. See the X-Bow is trying to ram me from behind. We had an okay exit. So it looks like the, um, the favorites are definitely those in front of us. I don't think we can catch these two. I think the Lotuses are probably faster than we are. It looks like, at the moment. But I'm not going to say no to trying to pass them in a future time frame. So let's keep it light on the throttle. And then punch it out. Make sure we shift to third gear. <laughs> It doesn't make much of a sound when you miss shift, so I'll just keep that in mind. I have to look at my shift meter. Here we got a brake relatively early. Move it in, make sure we don't punch out too fast. Got the rotation going, and there we go. Someone has spin the car, ideally. Went very deep in that corner, so that's gonna lose us some time, though it wasn't an awful mistake, it was still something. Make sure we're early enough on the brakes here. Keep ourselves turned in, don't accelerate too hard. Just keep the throttle, and then punch out at the last moment. Hit the brakes again. Turn in. Stay low on the throttle. Headlong. All right. And this braking zone is definitely earlier than the tarmac would suggest, according to the rubber lines. Let's get off the throttle, back on the throttle, heavy car, heavy car. Kind of fighting it a little bit. Okay, this corner, uh, I tend to follow the rubber just to, to see where I should brake. And uh, this corner, definitely too early on the brakes. So I'll keep that in mind for next turn, we have to wait a little longer. Here I definitely need to brake, as we're otherwise going to brake traction. And braking traction is what you don't want to do in a race. Here we're going to shift a bit later just to maintain our momentum until the very end. A little far, a little bit past the uh, limits, but hopefully nobody looks at us and says anything bad about us. So we're gain on this straight, which is rather interesting and unique because it doesn't seem to be another place that we, where we gain much much speed. In fact, we seem to lose a lot of our speed here as I'm trying to turn. What's interesting is though, that the downshifts are rather quick, so I can probably get away with 
breaking a little later as I said that and was totally wrong. But what I meant was probably get away with shifting closer together. This car just sounds like a tractor when it's forcing. I definitely shifted more quickly over here. It'll definitely rotate for me if I let go of the gas pedal, so that's something to keep in mind. Gotta make sure that I don't exaggerate that rotation. Now what's interesting is you can see kind of how hard you brake by seeing the wing go up, which is something unique, I guess. Okay, third gear out of this corner, probably not the best gear, but also helping us to maintain a straight speed that's not too bad against us. This, remembering to brake a little later. I think we'd probably have gone a little later still, but that was okay. Trying to keep it smooth on the throttle. Go for a straight exit that doesn't punch out so much that traction control has to catch us too much. I can see traction control light going on all the time, but I don't know how much it's trying to, to catch us. So here I'm going to brake preemptively quite a lot. Maintain my weight balance towards the front so that when we turn, we don't lose our front. And there we go. Not much of a distance. Change either way to the Lotus in front of us. We have been catching up to him on certain straights and then losing to him on the more maneuverable corners. Let's just make sure we shift at the right times. And here we're going to catch up to him slightly, but lose him again in the corner to follow. So that means we're going to keep a straight line speed. We're not going to emphasize trying to go past him. As I say that, I just made a mistake. I followed him into the braking zone, and that meant that I braked too late because he has better brakes than I do. So he having less weight and less momentum than I do means that he has to brake less late, uh, less early. So here we go again. Just going to make sure try to get past him. And we misjudge, and we cause a huge accident, and we push him to the side like a NASCAR racer would. That was completely unfair. That would get us license points and get us out of the race. Black flag, red flag, everything else. But in this game, everything goes. You get in the way, AI. It's your fault. The AI will definitely push us out of the way without any penalties. So I'm going to take that like a champ. That was completely unintentional, that was a racing incident, and uh, hey, let racers race. So there we go, probably have gone a little faster since that turn, it wasn't as tight as I would have wanted to, but nevertheless not so bad. Make sure we go through this quickly without maintaining traction, align ourselves so that we don't oversteer and brake, uh, relate on the brakes, maintain the little brakes, and then maintain our speed, trying trying as hard as we can to get away from that X-Bow. It's not obvious the X-Bow has extra maneuverability even though we have the horsepower advantage at this moment. We will run through the line on second place.